Hey, Uncle Stewie here. Uh, I've been playing around with my Digispark. Uh, might be kind of hard to see with all that light behind it. But uh, you can see I've got it coming off of my uh, high power, well, so low power, low voltage rail, but uh, I've got a 12 volt 4 amp power supply that is feeding the uh, positive and negative rail going into the VIN on the Digispark. Doing that so I can run the same voltage for the Digispark as I'm running for the LED strip. Uh, this is an SMD5050 uh, RGB LED strip with uh, over voltage resistors already built into the strip so I don't have to worry about any uh, resistance or resistors going into the uh, switching network. And I've got uh, three uh, IRF 520PBF-ND uh, power MOSFETs uh, those are available at Digispark for about 60 cents each, 60 to 70 cents each. And uh, just some jumper wires leading into my network here. So it's a pretty simple schematic. Um, the gate on the, the, the gate on the FETs leads into uh, PWM pins 0, 1, and 4 on the Digispark. So, and I've got uh, pin 0 is controlling blue, pin 2 controlling red, and pin 3 controlling green. And I'm running a simple uh, PWM fade, uh, much like the demo that came with the, uh, the Digispark. I've got some additional work to do. I've got uh, three of the RGB encoder knobs coming from uh, FunSpark, and those will be fed into the uh, digital read uh, on the Digispark to control the PWM values going into the FETs. And that way I'll be able to turn the encoder knobs with the uh, LED in the encoder knob indicating the brightness level because I'll also have an output feeding back through on a low voltage to those. And so you'll be able to see on the control box what the final outcome of the color will be because of mixing. <coughs> Uh, you can also see that the uh, refresh rate in the LEDs is kind of plays havoc with the camera. You can see each, uh, see the scan lines moving up and down. Anyway, this is my first attempt at an RGB LED strip controller using the Digispark as the core. I'll uh, I'll post more as this uh, as I get more done on it. Next step, like I said, is going to be the encoder control, and then after that, once I have that working. It'll be memory sets, so I can uh, push to hold on the uh, encoder knob, and then set memory, so that I can just you know go through and recall memory with a uh, with a simple click of different color shades for mood lighting. All right, thanks. Awesome.